What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Mattel Creations exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition Logan Paul figure. Now, this is highly anticipated. This, of course, is Mattel Creations exclusive, made to order if you got your order in a year ago. You got to pick up one of these Logan Pauls. I actually ordered five of these. Only two of them have come in so far. I don't know if they're like on back order or like what the deal is there if we're like waiting for more shipments. But we of course also got the Cody Rhodes earlier as well. They kind of shipped around the same time, which is not something I expected. But I'm expecting probably at San Diego Comic Con here in a few weeks, we're going to see more of these Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition action figures. And I'm probably expecting like a Bad Bunny or something like that. Nonetheless, man, this figure is highly anticipated. We've been waiting on this one for a long time now, but here is the box that it comes in very similar to Cody Rhodes it's got nice graphic and art here you got ultimate edition here Mattel creations Logan Paul an image of Paul here here an action shot of the figure there got a nice black and yellow color scheme going on on this side you do get the WWE logo and then you do also get a picture of Paul there and then Logan Paul down there and it also doesn't have his Pikachu card right there for copyright reasons on the back, you just got like this kind of fiery looking graphic with the WWE logo. And on this side, you have Logan's name, big yellow and black lettering going on. Also worth mentioning, when you get this figure from Mattel Creations, that box we just took a look at comes inside the shipper, which also is Mattel Creations. And it's just the shipper box that the other box comes in, which also comes in another box. And I'm pretty sure there's another box inside this box. So without further ado, let's crack open this box and take a look at the other box. So when you open up the box, you do get the I am the table there, which I think is brilliant. But then you open up this flap here and you can pull this out revealing the Logan Paul figure from underneath. I swear I'm tripping but didn't this come with like a sleeve thing very similar to Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition or am I tripping? Dude I could have swore this came in a little packaging thing. I guess not. I googled it. It's not right. That's this. This apparently is the correct way. I could have swore it came with a thing like a sleeve cover or something like that like Cody Rhodes came with. Nonetheless there's Logan Paul in all his glory. You get the head sculpts all stored away in there and then down there it does say Logan Paul. You got the little Maverick logo and everything and then you spin it around you do get an action shot of the figure you get his name and then you get a shot of logan paul there and then you got the little bio read down there if you'd like to read it you can pause it now but nonetheless with those things being said man let's go ahead and crack logan paul out of this packaging take a look at him in the rotating base and see what this figure is all about so here's Logan Paul out of the packaging, spinning round and round, guys. And obviously, this figure is pretty damn good, man. It's it's pretty damn good. I've had a lot of enjoyment posing the guy around, pulling out the accessories, playing around with it, seeing what this figure is all about. And I think even if you're not a Logan Paul fan, or you, you don't like the guy whatsoever, this is a damn cool action figure. It feels really good in hand so far. And I'm really getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. So what we're going to do is take a closer look at Logan Paul's accessories first, and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at the Logan Paul Ultimate Edition figure itself. So getting into the Logan Paul Ultimate Edition, edition accessories man you get a pretty decent amount it is an ultimate edition you're going to get a slew of accessories especially when it comes to the ultimate edition line they got to fill up that 35 dollar price point one of the biggest things about the ultimate editions though is the interchangeable head sculpts now starting out first we do have this first straight face logan paul head sculpt we do get three interchangeable ones here and he did have like kind of this like mulletish style haircut here with the headband underneath and if you guys will see if you pull back the bangs you actually do get the paul underneath in the yellow with the black text across it it doesn't come off if it is sculpted on, but I'm pretty sure he wore it the entire match, so I don't have any issues with that. This head sculpt certainly looks better than it did when we first saw the render images and the prototypes and stuff like that. I think that it does capture Logan Paul's likeness. Uh, it's not my favorite head sculpt, but I still think it gets the job done. I like the way it looks, and I think it accomplishes everything you want to accomplish here. Now, he also comes with some black sunglasses here, and this is the head sculpt that he comes with on in the packaging. And putting these sunglasses on, I think it fits the head well. It's snug on there. It looks good on there and these are removable of course you can't put these on every single head sculpt that you have but this looks to me to be a new sunglasses mold but i wanted to show these off before moving on to the next head sculpt because this is an accessory that you get but they are just solid black sunglasses then you have the yelling head sculpt or the celebrating yelling style head sculpt i think this also looks good teeth look good again you can't pull the hair back you got paul under there nice likeness i think that this one in the tongue out head sculpt has better likeness than the the straight face head sculpt that we just saw but this is a pretty good one I, i'm in enjoying this one. I like the dark beard and everything. Good sculpts going on with this guy. And last but not least, we probably have my favorite. I don't know which one I like more, whether it's the tongue out or just the yelling expression. I think I do like the tongue out head sculpt more, but damn, this is a good action figure so far. I like the blonde hair as well. Like, it's got some nice... I can't tell. I want to say it has, like, some dry brushing detail in there, but the blonde hair looks really good as well. And everything like that. I can't really disagree with these head sculpts, man. I think they're getting the job done for me. Now, outside of that, he also comes with his Pokemon card necklace here. So this inside had a 
Pikachu card. It's like a Gem Mint 10. Very expensive, like million dollar card. May have been like five million or something like that, but it does have a nice gold color around the necklace. And uh, our buddy Curb Stomp is actually getting decals where you can stick that in there so it'll complete the figure. I think that's something that you must do. And I think this should also be painted. Like paint that silver on the rim and add the card in there. But this is a nice addition by Mattel, even if it is blank. Can't put the picture in there that's needed. I still think that it's cool. Maybe filling that in with gold paint would have been cooler though. I don't know. And then the last big thing with Ultimate Editions is going to be the interchangeable arm gimmick, which is something that Ultimate Editions do. You do have his jacket in here. Now, this is a newly sculpted jacket. I like the black and yellow paint. You have the zipper in there. Really cool part of it is on the back. You do have Paul, but the hood doesn't move, so that kind of bothers me. I wish it was an operational hood. Maybe something like we got with the Ultimate Edition AJ Styles, but I like the black, yellow, and silver. It all looks very clean, and the arm sculpts also look very clean. So what you would do is if you wanted to put this on the figure, of course, you do wrap this around the torso of the figure, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But you wrap that around, and then you will take the arms, and you just plug them in like so. And then you would plug in your interchangeable arms here, and then you could put in your hands as well. So pretty easy, nothing crazy, but uh, I like all the sculpts that we have on these sleeves as well. One thing that kind of blew me away was that it does have the pins in there. I did not like that. You have the pins in there that are in yellow, so when you flip it onto the black side, you still have that yellow poking through. I don't know why they gave him pinned arms when you know in this day and age it may be just because the figure was put in production so early but i'm liking all these sculpts and straps and stuff i think this gets the job done i just wish the hood was operational but i think you guys are going to enjoy this jacket and the sculpts that we have going on with it and then outside of the jacket arms he also has just these plain bear arms really bothered me that night that he wore this gear because i was like dude what the heck you didn't wear any wrist guards or wrist tape or wrist bands or gauntlets or nothing really would have completed it because it just kind of makes the figure look a bit plain jane but it's not the biggest deal but got the double jointed arms and then for interchangeable hands you do have the mic holding hands you got the fist hands to beat the hell out of somebody and then you have the pointing finger hands to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up so getting into Logan Paul himself, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt. Again, I like the way this head sculpt looks. I like the sculpture of it. I think it looks just like Logan, to be honest with you. Kind of a sleepy look, but I think that kind of fits, you know. I think I, I think it does capture the likeness of Logan. I think that it takes care of everything that you need to take care of when it comes to Logan Paul. Going down into the torso, I think the head does fit well on the neck as well. And I like the way the figure looks with this yellow background right now. But going down into the torso, I do believe this is the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition torso. I I think he probably could have got away with like the Seth Rollins one. I think he's pretty shredded, you know. I don't know about this specific matchup, but he's pretty lean. He's got good musculature. Kid works out nice. He looks good. I say kid like he's younger than me or something. He's older than me. So you got the double jointed arms. I really wish they would have done some sculpting here. I hate how flat, like from the neck down, it's pretty plain. You know, I think it does have a lot of plain. Like he didn't wear wrist tape. He doesn't have, you know, any like special stuff going on here on the crotch. I would have liked to have seen maybe the, the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. Rollins crotch. All this could have been sculpted on, but it is just flat painted. You have Paul on the butt going down the thigh there, and then it's just black and yellow stripes with plain yellow knee pads, and then plain, or not plain, I guess. You do get some black details. You get the black lines and then the black shoes down there. Ultimate Edition articulation, of course, here on the toe, which seems to be a bit stiff, but I did break it. Now, this figure does feel pretty damn good in hand, man. Articulation, it's just a ball joint. It's not, you know, no ball hinge or anything like that. It is an Ultimate Edition torso, so you're not going to get the best ab crunch he does have waist swivel it can go above 90 here you know you get the full rotation you get the butterfly joints double jointed arms bicep rotation the hands pivot and rotate it's your standard ultimate edition articulation pretty much and then he does have the drop down hips which allow him to kick forward pretty good there. Uh, you just got to be careful with that. But you do get the upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. He can do the split seas, kick pad rotation, toe pivot. I mean, anything you want this guy to do, oh, be careful there. Jesus, that always makes me nervous. I don't know how I feel. I still don't know how I feel about the drop down hips. I feel like I like it sometimes, and sometimes it makes me sick. But I'm enjoying this figure. I think he feels really damn good in hand. If you're one of the feels in hand guys, you know, it's kind of like my stamp of approval onto a figure. Look no further. This guy feels good. And look at him standing there. So for our first comparison, we do have the Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition exclusive comparison because this is our only two Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition so far. Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul. Both of these guys pre-order went up a year ago, I do believe, or just over a year ago, maybe. And now we are looking at San Diego Comic-Con in just a couple weeks. Probably gonna see another one, and I can I can actually go ahead and tell you right now, we're going to see at least one new Logan Paul figure at Comic-Con. I, I, I feel like that's a spoiler there, but if you tuned into the review and stayed this long, I can pretty much say that I think with certainty that we're gonna see a Logan Paul new figure. Whether it's an Elite, I do believe it's an Elite. I don't think it's a basic. I do think that it 
is going to be an elite figure. We will see about that, of course, but this is your Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes comparison. And then for your other comparison, we do have the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins up next to the Logan Paul Ultimate, and then we have who he's currently feuding with pretty much is Ricochet up next to an elite, and I think these size comparison pretty good. I think Logan Paul is supposed to be six foot, six one, somewhere in there. I think this is pretty good. I mean, yeah, I mean, he may be a little bit too tall, but I don't think it's, you know, it's not earth shattering, you know. I, th I think we're, we're dealing okay here, and these guys all look good up next to each other. So, yeah, there's Logan Paul, and he didn't come with a damn prime bottle, unfortunately. But I think that pretty much wraps up this WWE Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations exclusive Logan Paul figure review. I enjoy a lot of things about this figure. I think it feels really quality in hand, man. I like the articulation of the figure. It feels good in hand, like I said. I think it does capture Logan Paul's likeness, and while I'm not the biggest Logan Paul guy, I still like the action figure. I think that this is a nice formula going on. I think they probably could have went a little bit more ripped up on the torso. I'm not the biggest fan of this head sculpt that the figure has on right now, like at this moment. I do prefer the tongue out or the screaming expression, and I wasn't a big fan of his gear on this debut. This is like his debut match, right? Or his match with The Miz. And I wasn't the biggest fan of this gear when he first came out, but I think in figure form it looks good. I think all of it looks nice. I like the sculpts that you have. The jacket's really cool. I do wish the hood was operational. I think that would have took it a step further. But at the end of the day, I think people that missed out on this figure are going to be bummed out that they missed out on it. And I know this figure is going for crazy astronomical prices on the aftermarket right now. And it may only go up from here. So I do not know exactly how to gauge that. I think it's like a $200 figure right now. Maybe more depending on where you go, which is just totally crazy. But that's the only place you can get it, man. They were made to order. So when they do these things, man, and you're on the fence, go ahead and do it. If you have the budget and you're on the fence about it, just go ahead and do it. You can always sell or trade the figure later because it's only going to go up in value. And that's not necessarily why you should collect or why I got five of them. But I enjoy this figure. I think that if you're a Logan Paul fan, I think this is going to be a, a piece that you really, really enjoy. If you're just an action figure fan, I think you'll enjoy the figure just for the simple usability and feel and hand of the figure. But overall, I have enjoyed this piece. And I think this guy's going to have a solid case when it comes to top 10 Ultimate Editions of the year. And I can't wait to get into our top 10 as we approach the end of the year there. This guy may find himself in the countdown. But that is going to pretty much wrap up our Logan Paul Ultimate Edition review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I like everything about it pretty much. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below. Did you guys miss out or did you end up grabbing this yourselves? Leave me all those thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And before we get out of here, again, a huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. Check out all the perks you can get over there. Always appreciate those guys. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me your thoughts down below. Leave a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We